Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. We're going to take a look at Scratch Junior today in this special edition of iPad Monthly. And we're just going to really tie in with the geography curriculum, um, getting our very young coders to start to describe places and actually get kids typing and, and actually describing at the same time. So let's jump straight into it. Really excited about this. We're going to jump into Scratch. And look, if your kids haven't used Scratch Junior before, really, really easy. It's a case of dragging down code, um, clicking and it executes, and then just clicking and dragging the code up to get rid of it. So what we're going to do today is actually go to backgrounds. Now, you can do a couple of things here. I've got a background that I actually got my kids to photograph. It was like a poster on a wall. Um, and you can see how that kind of works in. So if you want to get your students actually um, taking some photos, you can do that very easily by going on background, clicking on the paintbrush at the top, clicking on the camera on the right, and then just pressing the screen. And what that does is it actually opens up the background. You can turn that around and start to look around your room. Um, but we're not going to do that today. What we're actually going to do is go to a preset background. So I'm going to go right down the bottom. Um, and what we actually want to do is select a background that's got a little bit of scope. So what I might actually choose is the one here. And so we'll put scratch at the, along the road there. And it's a really, really basic task for what we want our students to do, but it just gets them actually describing. So what we want to actually get our cat to do is go over here, up next to the door, and actually describe what the door of the house is. So what we get our kids to do is drag a couple of bits of code in. Now, our really young ones will just want to do this, but you can actually get them consolidating some maths facts by saying, okay, I'm going to go along three, and then I'm going to go up one, and then press test to see how it goes. Uh, not far enough, so I'll change the three to say uh, a six. Test it again. Still not there. We want to get a little bit closer, so we'll go to uh, nine. See how that goes. Across nine, at one, that's pretty good. And then what we want to actually get our students to do is to say something. So what we're going to do is click on the little uh, purple or pink code, drag down the high, and say, um, get our kids to actually say what it is. This is a red door. Now, these are very young students, so I'll go to go. Um, and so you could actually write this on the board. You could put some sentence starters on the board to really support them with the actual typing aspect of it. We know that some young kids are really going to struggle with that. Um, but let's just see how that looks. So our cat goes over and is starting to actually describe the background and the surrounding areas. For those kids that really struggle with literacy, you might actually get rid of that code and actually bring in a talk. So it actually opens up a microphone like that, and you could actually get them to actually dictate what that is. Um, but for, for our kids, we actually wanted them to start typing on iPads. We want to get them involved with the coding and the literacy aspect of it. Um, and so I hope that that was a really easy tutorial, getting kids to make a start with Scratch Junior, getting them to describe the area. Uh, you could go outside, get your kids to describe the local area, um, bring in a background that relies on that, and then you could actually get them to go to a different place. So um, once that cat has actually gone to the door, he might then, if we go back to code here, he might actually start to head back. Um, and go towards maybe the cloud and talk about the white cloud in the sky. So just some really simple but effective ways of introducing coding into the geography and the literacy classroom. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.